guys, uh, I'm going to show you guys here uh, one way to get close to your partner, to clinch your partner, you know, like in a self-defense situation, like a street fight or normal fight, okay? So we're going to walk a little bit of step by step. So I want to start first with the last thing. So the last thing here, come here, close, is the clinch, okay? So... You want to get, you know, some people call clean, some people call bear hug, okay? So you want to make sure that or either you put your hands together, they call gable grip, or you grab your own wrist, or sometimes the guy's big here. So you got to make sure that you pull the guy to your hips and use your head, okay? So this is going to be a good, you know, training to have. So if I'm here and my base are also wide open, I don't want to be like this, okay? If my head is on the side, I want the other leg forward. Okay, if I switch, I'll switch. Yeah. So here, I'm good. the beginning of the technique, you can have your partner try to grab here and try to just escape here a little bit. Go ahead. Okay. See how it was a kind of applied pressure over his body? Because, you know, people will try to escape. Sometimes people will try to hit you. But sometimes he's going to hit me, you know. Sometimes you're gonna to have to take a couple of hits to get down. But the difference is, when you hit me from here, that's the punch that's gonna knock me down. This here is gonna aggravate you, like you know, boom, boom, boom. But it's not. It's a difference. So in jiu-jitsu, what we want is getting away from the range, right? So if he's over here, I'm in his range. He's gonna be punching me right in the range. Okay. Here now is not the range that he's used to to hit people. All right, and then from here, you're gonna work on the takedown. So first step, clinch, okay? Now, takedown. Different kinds of takedown here. The first thing is pressure, okay? If the guy start moving his butt back here, moving his butt back, and start losing his pressure here, I gotta find ways to get the pressure again, closer, but you don't wanna allow him to start moving away and breaking loose. So always pull the guy against, I pull in his hip against my hip. Okay, and I'm not here. Because here's easy, you can put a pain in my face too. Yeah, I did this, push me off too. Yeah, boom, easy. Okay. So I want to make sure that my head is here. Okay. So the next next train is stay here and then walk the takedown. Takedown is gonna be what well, Brazilian style is a hook. Boom. Okay. So I'm gonna go on this side. Here, you hook. And lean in a point. Okay. Walk in a point. Important things about the takedown. When you hook, you lean, and when you fall, you let go of your hands. All right, so let's go back here to the takedown. I'm here, my partner rod. I go here, pull. Okay, I use my head. Lock him here. Move my weight. Move my hands. Sometimes I'm going to adopt in the half guard. Sometimes you're gonna end up mounting him already, and sometimes you're gonna end up on side control. You know, whatever you do, you know, side control, hold, mount, you mount, and then if you hold set half guard, just try to mount right away. Okay? All right. So, now the approach. Of course, the guys are gonna go, hey, let me go here and grab, right? So, a good way to approach, like the guy's trying to attack me, like maybe he's the bully or something, right? So if I'm here, not good because he can strike me, okay? So I want to be in a position that I'm further, further away enough that he cannot hit me. So obviously, you're not going to put the hands together here. Say, hey, put the hands together. But just by doing that, that's kind of the distance. And after that, you got to make sure that you create like a mental picture of this distance. So if I feel it's coming in, I have to go out, okay, defensively, okay, or go in 100%. The best time to take the guy down when he's coming in. So the drill guy's going to do here, you're going to lure the guy in by stepping back. You can step back one, two, three times, all right? In this case, I'm going to do one step back and then one step forward, okay? So we again, I'm going to check the... The line here, far, the line, 
Okay? And he's going to put his arm here. They're going to keep my hands here with me. All right? So it's low motion. But he go there, one. I go one. When we go two, I go in. Then I have the clinch. Okay? So how, how do you go in? So first, always move back. The leg is back. Okay? Don't ever cross the leg here. I'm on my stance. I have to keep my stance. All right? Once I figure it out, that's my stance. Unless, you know, you, you can switch and you like to switch and it doesn't matter because sometimes you switch. Okay? So, other thing is defense. Okay? So you don't want to get end up right here. If your hands are here, you're just going to comb your hair here. And I like to put this elbow right in front of my nose. Okay? So in case you go for jab. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah. You protect your nose because if you jab here, it's gonna hit there. And if you jab out like you did out of my hand, it's not gonna hit my face. Okay? So I go. Yeah. So again, in this arm to be stiff, like a friend. Oh, yeah. Again. Oh, yeah. So it hits here but doesn't hit it here. All right, so one, two, three. Three, three, three. All right, so very important, keep that distance, okay? Once the guy invade, or either go forward, or either you go back. If it's charging you too fast, and you have one more option, you gotta go forward. Okay? Because again, if you charge me, it's even easier for me to, to get control of my body. Okay? Rear, hips, hook, and then you lie down, and you have the top position. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you, thank you, Rob. See you next time. Make sure you subscribe.